Yeah. Yep. Did we ever randomize her? Yep, I randomized four times. All right. All right. All right. Yep. We'll begin the game. I'm gonna play a forest, and I'll tap one and cast wild growth on it, and I'll pass turn. Drop turn. And play a hideaway. Look at top four. Put one under. Um, put this under. Use on bottom. I'll pass. Okay. Draw. Play this irrigated farmland and pass. Going to play a seaside citadel and pass. Forest. Um, tap two for Shigeki. And I'll pass. One tap. Drop a turn. Play a mirrored landscape. Right. And then I'll pass. Okay. Untap and draw. I'm going to shock in a breeding pool. Untap blue and one for Broker's Veteran. 2 1. When it dies, I can put a shield counter on a creature I control. Alright. And I'll pass. Upkeep, draw. Um, I'm going to play a forest, tap for two, play an arcane signet, and pass turn. It's so weird. Like, I, I looked up the power level thing the other day, and it was, like, the first result, and it was, like, a really, actually, like, it made sense. Um, and now I can't find it at all, so no. <laughs> frustrating. No. Um, it's been censored. No one wants. Yeah, to, no one like, wants you, got, to you got the information once. You don't. Yeah, you don't get it again. Mm -hmm. Um, and a tap to activate Shigeki. Return to hand. Reveal four. Um, I got three creatures and a forest. Creatures go to the grave. Forest goes tap on the field. And I will pay two and, have, and play Shikiki. Half turn. Button tap. Draw for turn. We'll play planes. Um, I'm going to crack the mirrored and you can go. All right. <clears throat> uh, tap. Draw. I'll play A. Sun Petal Grove. Then I'll tap three for a dis Discipline Duelist. Mm. Mm. It's the alternate art, but it's a 2 1 double strike, enters with the shield counter. And thankfully, my box came with the new. Uh, Shoe counter things. And then, uh, I think I'll just pass. Okay. I'm tap up, keep draw. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage. Tap for four, move to cast Rafik. Getting your Rafik on. Yeah, and then pass turn. <clears throat> Come on, tap and draw. Um, play a forest. So, 
I'm going to tap two and play Binding of the Titans. Uh, each player mills three. Nice. Mullen Primordial, Judah Keller's Verdict, and Hammerfist Giant. Two lands uh, and a Citic Canopy Vista. Yeah, Canopy Vista, Mother of Runes, and a Simic Signet. Cool. The only thing um, in this deck that will care about your graveyards is the second step of this saga. So. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it's mostly just filling my own grave. I want to. Um, cool. I uh, actually got a good hit for my play. So I have five creatures in my grave, meaning this costs three. I cast Ghoul Tree. Oh, nice. That's a nice tree, folk. <laughs> I haven't seen him in yeah. forever. Yeah. He's just been sitting in my collection forever, and I was like, man, you know, why How not? How do you spell that? Because... <laughs> I'm trying. Spell table thinks it's cool. a. Spell table thought it was a G scrub lane. G H O W. I mean O U L. Yeah, G H O U L tree. One uh, word. He's just a vanilla ten ten, right? Yeah. He's just a ten ten. Yeah. One less cast for each creature card in my graveyard. Um, that's all I'm gonna do. Spooky. It's yeah. just a. It's just a big green bot. Yeah, it's a 10 10 that I cast for three mana, so. Yeah, that's great. I just was making sure it didn't have like trample. <laughs> you know, like, what am I getting myself into here? What is it? Ancient uh, Amphitheater revealing a Palisade Giant from a hand, so it comes untapped. Oh, I like that card. Oh, there's Giant Tiger. to make it into. Yes, yeah, Giant Tiger. Nice. Palisade Giant and give it top it four to play Brian. Dark Steel Plate. What'd you say? Said Palisade Giant, then give it Dark Steel Plate. Nice. Uh yeah, it's more for like just a, a like a, a value giant card. Yeah. I play it in my I, and I like, can still fling them. Yeah, I have a mono white deck that's kind of uh, a bit pillow fort. And just like I'll yeah. pass. Or just the goal is to make nobody able to damage me. <laughs> Draw. Yeah, there's all the creatures to take damage. Play a Prismatic Vista. And... I think I'll go to combat. Actually, you guys, everyone has big creatures. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I think I'll just go to my main phase, crack this Vista for a, an island, I guess, and pass the turn. All right. I'll untap the keep draw. Oh. Um. I'm going to play a prairie string tat for my land for turn. Um, I'm going to pay four, two whites, um, to cast Angelic Destiny. What's that one? Angelic Destiny. It's a enchant creature aura. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four, has flying and first strike, and is an angel in addition to its other types. When in, when the enchanted creature dies, return Angelic Destiny to its owner's hand. Oh, Angelic Destiny. I thought you said Angel of Destiny. Oh, no. Yeah, no. It's just 
slightly different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, slightly. And so, yeah. Um, so, move to cast that. Does that resolve? Yep. I got no thoughts. Yeah. Swing. Uh, so he is flying in first strike. Um, D6. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a three. So, uh, Bruin Power, I'm coming at you. So, eight. So, 16 commander damage in the air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep, this is good. And then I'll pass turn. All right. Here, I thought I was good uh, with my 10 10. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, un untap, draw. Um, Saga counter. I'm going to exile two target cards from graveyards. Uh, who's got creatures in their grave? I have a mother of runes. Uh, let's, hit uh, let's hit the mother. Let's hit the mother of runes and. Uh, um, I don't know. What's that first giant there on top? Uh, hammer fist giant. Sure. All right, that's two creatures. So I'll gain two life. Um, okay. I don't really want to poke the bear, but I, I, maybe I should. Um, I'll probably just die next turn, though. Um, I think I made myself the target. I, I get it. Whatever. <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. I will tap to activate Shigeki. And feel four. There's my soul ring. <laughs> uh, okay. Forest goes on to the battlefield tapped. I'm going to... I guess this. I will tap four. And play... Osaiju reaches Skyward. Um... So I'm going to search for two basic forests, put them in the hand. So I'm going to put the side counter on this guy. I haven't played a land for turn. I just used the abilities. So there's one and there's two. Shuffle. Swing a 10 10 at uh, Rafik, Ryan. And that's, uh, that's a go. All right. On tap, draw for turn. Play Mountain. Pause that giant. Uh, then I'm going to pass. I'll save you from a single round of commander damage. 
into your turn, I'm going to flash in Spooping Protector. So Flash Flying comes in with the Shield Counter. And I go to my turn. I type of key draw. Play Oboe Palace. I guess I'll cast uh, my Commander Falco. Comes in with the shield counter. I can look at the top card of my deck at any time. I can cast a spell from my deck as long as I remove a counter and cast or use the additional or pay the cost. Okay, so go to combat and <clears throat> swing two double strike at Ryan. And I will pass. No, all right, I will. Untap up keep. Draw. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do this one. So, uh, I'm gonna play a wind swept, swept teeth for turn. I'm gonna crack it, I'll lose a life. Um, I just search for. Uh, I'll search for an island. Um, shuffle. Cut. Three, um, uh, uh, Bruntar, I'm coming at you with my commander. All right. So uh, my giant's gonna die instead. It has flying. Yeah, all damage that would be dealt to me or another permanent I control is dealt to him instead. Oh, okay. That sounds good. It do does it have trample? Does it? No, it does not. Okay. I'm curious. Um, so uh, you have a it's an eight eight double strike. Is that correct? Or it's eight damage yeah. double strike? It's yeah, eight so he, double strike when I touch it. Yeah, he yeah he gets the exalted trigger. Okay. Yeah. Gets, I'm I'm curious because like it's it's hitting you. The first strike damage would kill. But it doesn't have trample, so it doesn't go over to the. Yeah, but he's not blocking. He's redirecting damage, and the damage would only be redirected until that thing is off the field. So I think maybe you get hit. I think I take the second well, strike too. It doesn't have trample though, so. Yeah, but again, he's not blocking with it. He's using the creature that says damage that would be dealt to you is dealt to it instead. So on first strike oh, damage, yeah. his palisade giant dies. And on Let second, me look up. He is still hitting you in the face. It's just that the damage is redirected the first time. Yeah, I, I was actually thinking that too. Let me see if um, there's any rulings on the card. About double strike.
because creatures do well i guess um, it would depend like it's like yeah because like creature would be off the field on the first damage resolution i think but i could be wrong yeah i mean if uh, we just uh, look this up if anyone wants to help too um just because if if not, I think I'm dead because it's eight double strike, right? Yeah. And I have sixteen on me, yeah. So that's why it would be relevant. So um. uh. That's an ungatherer about it. Um, I mean, to, to be honest, I, make, I don't really see anything on it, but it does make sense that because first strike is uh, basically a separate little combat thing, right? Yes. From the uh, from the combat damage, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Hold on. Um. All right. Let's see. Um. Uh, here's the situation. I found my opponent swings with ten two two creatures. I leave them unblocked. Does each source of damage strike palisade, resulting in no damage, or does the replacement effect? Combine with the damage into 20, whereas I take 18 to the giant. Uh, giant redirects all damage to itself, so each attacking creature is a separate source of damage. And she'll. Oh, that was. Like, it would matter when um, the creature goes to the grave, right? Like, because if damage isn't resolved until after, but there's two damage steps. Yeah, because because he would die with the first strike damage, and then combat damage would go through. Okay, Palisade Giant's think, right? ability does exactly what it says it will. It redirects all damage that would be dealt to you or another permanent to control all... All the combat damage from Rafiq will be directed in Palisade. Palisade's ability redirects damage to this protection. If you block. No. Oh, I found a ruling here. All 15. Or uh, Yeah, so um, your creature will not be alive during the second damage step. It will be in the graveyard. Okay, yeah, so I'm dead. Let's just go with that, because I, th I think it's that too, to be honest. All right, well, I could say it was a GG, but it wasn't. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're getting this. Um, I'll... Okay, so and then second, I'm sorry, uh, then second main phase, I'm going to play um, a two to play a Destiny Spinner, and then play um, a green and a blue to cast a Sylvan Library, and then I'll pass turn. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense just because of the. Your creature doesn't have trample. So I couldn't. Yeah, but again, it's not being blocked, right? It's a redirection. Yeah, but yeah. I know. I, I didn't know. I wasn't blocking, so. Play if, if, if I blocked it, it would be different, but. 
I understand. I just there you I'm go. thinking about. Yeah, it's all good. I right, take it easy, yo. All right, go game. Let's see. Um, it's my turn, I think. No, it's my turn. All right. No, I, I just went first matches. Nope, you're right. Like, cause he just, he just had a combat, right? Yeah, I just, yeah, I just wrapped up my turn. All right. Um, I'll draw Finding the Titans trick ticks up. I will return target creature or land to hand. Let's return. Um, let's return Gargos to hand. Um, this ticks up. I'm going to put one target land from graveyard. I don't have a land in my graveyard, so that doesn't do anything. Um, play a land for turn. I will. I will all tap for one, two, three, four, five, six for Gargos. And I will tap for three, play Gaia's Anthem. So creatures I control get one, one. Oh, I should have. Oh, you have a blocker. I should have rewind that. Um, can I uncast Gargos? Because do you care? No, that's fine. Okay. I wasn't. I'm was too busy looking up that ruling. I forgot you had a blocker. So um, instead, I will cast this guy for five. Elias Forerunner, um, which gives Ghoul Tree Trample. And I'm really scared of that big thing, so I'm going to swing at you with an 11 11. It's got plus one from the Anthem here. I'll take it. Okay. And that's my turn. I already drew. So I thought it was my turn. Mm hmm. All good. That's all good. We just spent like five minutes trying to figure out a. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wanted to stay out of it because I. Yeah. Hey, uh. uh Go to combat. Swing uh we'll do uh three commander in the air at ninja and then two in the air and two double strike at Ryan. Okay, I'll block the double strike and take the two in the air. Okay. He has a two three, so he'll take the shield counter away. Yep. Uh, sorry, I have three in the air at me. Three commander. All right. Um, and then main phase two. I'll play a forest. Uh, we'll tap a blue and a green, removing a shield counter to cast Neil form. I'm going to sack the uh, Broker's Veteran in addition. All right. So when the Broker's Veteran dies, I'll put a shield counter on the Duelist. 
and then I'll search for a creature with CMC equal to one plus, and they, that creature comes in with a bone encounter. So it'll be a three drop. I think I'll I think I'll bring in Celestial Regulator. Two three flying when it enters, I choose a creature I don't control and tap it. If I have a creature with a counter on it, uh, that creature is doesn't untap until the next untap step. Sorry, which uh, creature is that? It's not scanning. Oh, never mind. Just took a minute. Celestial regulator. I have an assumption of what you're targeting, but uh, are you starting repeat? Actually, that's not going to work the way I thought it would, because it'll just... Nick, you have two creatures with counters on them, so whatever you tap won't untap during its owner's untap phase. Yeah, you can tap a tapped creature. That yeah. still works. Yeah. But what I'm saying, Rafik will just untap on the... No, you no. have two creatures with counters on them. If you tap Rafik, he will not untap during my untap phase. Yeah, you can tap a tapped creature. Oh, yeah. it just says it doesn't. Okay. okay. No, I understand that. I just, I was confused by the wording of the card. So, yeah, I'll target repeat. Okay. Um, All right. Okay, I'll pass. And at the end of your turn, I'll pay two to cast a Latimer's Call. Um, I will go search my library for a creature card, reveal it, and put it into my hand, and then check my library. Came in with a plus one plus one counter because of the neo form. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, I just remember these cards saying like. The creature doesn't untap until your next turn or something like that. That's why I was confused by the wording. Okay, I'm going to grab a Stone Forge Mystic, put it in my hand. <clears throat> I don't, I don't think they changed the way it's worded. I just. No, oh, that's okay, man. Like, there's a lot of cards and. Sometimes you have to reread them and Yeah, and that's a from the latest set too, so it does. Yeah. Right. Shuffle. Um and then I'll cut. And then I'll untap. Except for a feet. Um, upkeep, and then draw. And so during my draw phase, because of the library, I'll draw two extra. And 
set those down. I'm going to look at my hand really fast. Um, or put them in. Actually, I'll put them in this way. Draw. And then I'm going to pay uh, colorless and a white to cast Mystic. Um, Yeah, I'll grab a uh, sword of body and mind in my hand. Nice. That's um, the one that mails and makes you a wolf. Yes. It's pro green and pro blue, which is why I chose it uh, for obvious reasons. Both of our decks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, shuffle, cut. Um, and then with four mana left, uh, I don't have an answer. Um, it's not going to matter because you're ninja. Your guy has trample, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause of the, yeah. uh, the enchantment creature. Yeah. He gives everybody trample. Oh, well. I guess it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I'm dead man walking. All right, uh, I'll just tap for four. Cast an Elspeth Knight Errant. Um, the OG Elspeth. I will um, make her plus one, create a soldier, and then I'll pass the turn. I will uptake besage you, uh, XL, return it, get transformed. Is a creature with reach, thankfully. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, 20 here. Eight. Oh, uh, play a land for turn. Bumps them up. Nine nine. Six for Gargos. Hold on. I have to read Gargos again. Um, PG eight seven just costs four less. Um, when a creature I control becomes target yep. on a spell, Gargo fights up to one target I don't control. Yeah, I think when you cast Gargos, 
I'm going to cast Run Out of Town. Uh, put Target in online permanent, or the owner of Target in online permanent puts it on top of their, uh, on top, on top of the bottom of the library. Okay. So in response to the cast, then. Yeah, I'm going to target the, uh, the guy that gives your stuff trample. All right, well, I mean... <laughs> Was going to try and take out the flying 16 commander, but <laughs> you can tell I will. Him. Yeah, and die commander damage next turn. That's all right. I'll put it on top. Um, four mana. Um, let's see here. Yep, I will. Uh, we'll see. Now it's pointless because I'm just gonna. He's just gonna chump with the one one. All right, um, Flair. I'm gonna swing at you with an eleven eleven. No blocks. All right, take eleven. I will pay two and cast Shigeki. And I will pass turn. Yeah. And, uh, draw. Let's see. Blue is forest. See, I got one blue. Blue. Uh, I got a combat. Three, six. I do eight in the air at Ryan. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, you just wanted to kill. <laughs> or I can't kill, but. Oh, well, could have. The trample. Well, I wanted to get rid of the trample guy while Gargos wasn't on the field. That's fair. And then. Uh, main phase two, I'll cast Orzov Adv Advocate. Uh, beginning of my upkeep, each player may put two counters on the creature they control. If they do, they can't attack. Oh, uh, up to two counters on a creature and creatures that player. So it's not just that one creature, it's all the creatures. Okay. Sounds good. And I'll pass. Okay. All right, I will untap. Upkeep, draw, one, two, three. So he's going to have a commander with uh, protection, can basically swing unblocked and one shot us, I guess, right? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to draw a card per turn. I did hit hard of the cards. Um, so I am going to pay five. One, two, three, four, five um, to cast Fine Sour. What is oh, that? Yeah. 
it's an enchantment that gives me two attack phases. So there are responses. I have one mana open. Oh. I guess I'll respond. And tap three. White and two for Eerie Interlude. I can uh, exile any number of creatures I control and then... That doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, in response to you casting the eerie interlude, I think uh, just just to point this out, uh, your creatures won't return until the beginning of the next end step. So if you're planning on tapping out as commander, it's not going to work. If you have a hard counter, that's what you want to use. No, I just, uh... I'm surprised you didn't cast the sword and then bump him up with uh, Elspeth and that would have been a one-shot unblockable. It's true, but I still get to bump Elspeth up and then get two attack phases. Yeah, it's true. No, I just, uh... If you want to take that back, take it back and play something else. Uh, yeah. I wanted to do this, but I just, I forgot about the, the timing. Jeez. It doesn't matter. I just misread the timing. Just do what you're going to do. Okay. So the finest hour hits the battlefield. Um, I'm going to pump Elspeth up one to give target creature plus three, plus three. And we're going to find three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it swings for 24 in the air. I'm going to move to attacks. Um, I'm going to swing at uh, Flare for 24 commander damage in the air. Cool. Good game. <laughs> 